Welcome back to Guggen Lab. Today we're gonna to talk about five juicy ways to rig your Bandito Bug. The Bandito Bug, obviously one of the most popular Guggen baits that we make. It has caught so many giant fish and it's one of my personal favorites as well. It holds a very dear and near spot in my heart. What's great about this bait is it's not just meant for Texas rigging and throwing in the back of a jig. I've actually learned to love this bait and other applications and pairing it with other baits that we also make too. So let's get into this. First, we're gonna grab our bandito bug very gently out of the clam piece, not to mess up any of the appendages. There we go. Oh, so beautiful. This is an uh, Bamba Bug, one of my favorite colors. Very nice, dark green pumpkin with a little hue of blue. The first rig is very simple. We're gonna take our Bandito Bug and match it up with this clickbait. Kind of two unassuming uh, dynamic duos, but they actually complement each other really well. So we're gonna open up this clickbait right here. This is a 3 8 ounce clickbait in the green pumpkin color. This is a perfect imitation for mainly bluegill, uh, especially in this color. A lot of times when you're throwing clickbaits, you don't necessarily need to just imitate shad or any sort of normal bait fish. A lot of bass will eat crappie and bluegill, and that is one of the main reasons why I like using the bandito bug on the clickbait. So what we're gonna do is, sadly, gonna remove some of these appendages because we don't need those. We just need the back two kickers. Once we've removed the appendages, we're left with uh, a fairly naked bandito bug with those two main flanges on the back. This is all personal preference. I just like biting the head off. You could take some scissors and cut it, but I'm just gonna nip uh, maybe about a, a half inch, quarter inch off there. I'm gonna take my clickbait and rig it up like so. Super, super simple. Normally, when you're rigging up a bandito bug on a jig, or let's say just like a shake it, something like that, you wanna go from the bottom up. But I like to go on the side because it leaves that profile a little bit more slender. It's able to run through grass with ease and uh, it just kicks a little bit different and it imitates a bluegill perfectly. A lot of times when I can't get the fish to eat uh, a white clickbait or some sort of shad imitation lure, this is perfect because they're keen on a specific type of bait, that being, you know, bluegill or any sort of darker colored uh, forage that these bass are chasing. Next, we have uh, a rig that is so perfect for the bandito bug. I actually like this rig better than a Texas rig with the bandito bug, even better than a jig. That being pairing the bandito bug with a wobblehead. Uh, wobbleheads are cool because it's just something a little bit different that uh, has somewhat more of an aggressive approach to bottom fishing. You can drag a wobblehead, you can literally reel and slow roll wobblehead in. And one of the uh, the best baits to pair with wobblehead is a bandito bug. So unlike the, the clickbait rigging, we're gonna leave all the appendages. All the appendages stay on, all six flanges are gonna stay on. We're going to just barely poke through the nose of the bandito bug. Not too much because you wanna leave some room for the end of the hook. You don't wanna get in the way of the wobblehead. Just like so, see how we've left that uh, that opening right there so the wobblehead is able to freely move and we're just going to hide that hook within the plastic. This pairing has caught me a lot of big fish especially this season. Perfect spring tactic for some of those bigger fish that have just not decided to move up yet and are sitting in between that like 10 to 15 foot range. Again it all depends on what kind of wobblehead you like. I prefer something between like 3 8 ounce and a half ounce. This one in particular is a little bit lighter but uh, that's all you need. Just a bandito bug and a wobblehead and a nice, fat, large mouth to set the hook into. This third rig may seem a little bit obvious, but it's something that we definitely need to touch on because it is, uh, it is where the Bandito Buck really seems to excel, and that being as a trailer on the back of a jig. As you know, we make a lot of different kind of jigs. We've got the Juicy Jig, we've got the Gridiron, which is essentially a football head jig. We've got the Grass Hero, all perfect jigs to match with the Bandito Bug. But uh, today we're gonna talk about the Juicy Jig and why it goes so well with the Bandito Bug. So let's crank this puppy open. This is a 3 4 ounce Juicy Jig in a green pumpkin color. Pop the top on this one. Just take a look at that. Absolute beauty. The only thing it's missing is a trailer. And that's exactly where this little Dieter Bug comes into play. So normally, I think most people would assume, okay, cool, you got your bandito bug, you've got your jig, 
slide it on there, one and done. Me personally, I like to trim it down a little bit, especially if I'm fishing this time of year, something that's a little bit less bulky. I don't need all those appendages again. I'm sorry, Bandito Bug, but we're gonna move some of your arms. There we go. We only need four flanges for this rig. Again, I'm gonna bite off just a bit of the nose end of the Bandito Bug. You can, well, don't swallow it. Definitely spit it out. There you go. Or you could use scissors like a, a normal human being. And then you're just going to slide that right on there. And the cool thing about this is, let's say you've gotten a few bites, you've caught a few fish, and the Bandito Bug's looking a little bit worse for wear and tear. Uh, and it's starting to slide off the jig and it's not working as well as it used to. So you've got this split portion, you can't put it on anymore. One thing I like to do is cut down the bandito bug just a bit more, like this, and I'll use it as a chunk. So I'll just thread it on there, like so. And that is just as effective, if not a little bit more, than actually threading it all the way through to the top of the head. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind, just because your bandito bug has been through the the battle and the warfare of many bass bites doesn't mean that it's completely KO'd. So something to keep in mind and uh, a very straightforward way to catch fish and rig up your, uh, your Bandito. So we've touched on three different ways to rig this soft plastic. Now let's talk about a fourth. This one's a little bit more niche, uh, something that you're probably not gonna use all the time, but definitely good to have at the top of your brain if you are doing a lot of top water fishing, which is right around the corner with things heating up. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this beautiful Hummer right here and we are going to snag yet another Bandito Bug out of our plastic case. And we're going to remove, again, all those flanges, take some off the top. And instead of sliding it on to the hook, the Hummer, like we did with the clickbait, we're going to go with the flat side on the bottom. And the main reason why I like doing this is because it adds a bit of zest a bit more motion and commotion to that Hummer, as if it needs any more, but it really does help. The other cool thing too is with that Bandito Bug being so flat, it keeps the Hummer afloat. You're not gonna have to worry about that bait sinking any more than it needs to. And it's just something to kind of change up on the fish, keep them on their toes. Normally when people throw buzz baits like this, uh, they're just on the buzz bait and no trailer, but definitely something to try next time you're on a hot top water bite. So the final unique way that I like to rig a bandito bug is simply weightless. Whenever you're chasing after bass that are suspended under docks or getting ready to spawn and floating up to the surface and sunning, this can actually be a super effective way to catch fish that don't want anything else. Um, as a kid, I remember throwing creature baits weightless rigged and having so much freaking luck with this. This is, this is very simple. Just as if you were to rig this up Texas style, we're gonna take a three-aught hammer hook and weedless rig this Bandito Bug. Always making sure to hide that hook. I don't like exposing the, uh, the point of the hook only because I can then get this thing under docks or over some emergent vegetation without getting hung up. This is a very vital way to fish the Bandito Bug too if you are sight casting for bass. Uh, sometimes the Lunker Log just doesn't do it and throwing something with a little bit more of a bulkier profile is exactly what you need to get those fish to open up. So that is something definitely to keep in mind. Weightless rig, just throw it on a spinning rod with some light line and just drag it over a fish's face and you might find that it works even better sometimes than uh, a Texas rig style. So there you have it, five ways to rig your Bandito Bug. Get out there, try out some of these rigs, and go catch some fish. Thank you guys so much for watching yet another Google Lab, and we will catch you guys on the next one.